Good evening, my fellow scientists. It is Thursday, February 7th, 2019, and I want to talk about how to plot data in Excel. I see people plotting data for one purpose or another, and the work that they turn in, in reports, in published works that just look terrible. And so I want to talk a little bit about how to take data from a source like a data logger or a text file and turn that into a graph that looks decent, and then how to automate that process to make it easier. First of all, how to import data. If you file open, I've got some sample data on my desktop to which I will browse. It's a text file right here, but I'm going to say file all files to make it show up. And then it will give you some options for importing. Most programs, data loggers, etc., will give you the option to export as a text file, often a CSV or comma separated value file. If you import it this way, you can tell it what delimiter you're using here. And in this case, it's commas and you can get a little preview so we can get our data into Excel. Excel is a convenient way to graph data. As you can see, I can highlight the data I just imported from sampledata.txt. I can insert graph and I have something to look at immediately. So this is time and absorbance, but it could just as easily be months and profit or uh, it could be wavelength and intensity. It doesn't matter. The point is we can get data from a text file which could have originated anywhere and get it visual. Excel's defaults are terrible. There are at least five things wrong with this. These are non-data ink. We do not want them. These trend lines are Excel's interpretation of our data. As such, that's a problem. We do not want the curved line. We absolutely should have either no lines or if you need to have lines with the markers, you want straight lines. Don't let Excel interpret your data for you. Finally, we want bigger fonts. We want black fonts, not gray. We don't want a chart title. We want access titles that show our actual units. So you, here you show access titles and you show absorbance in seconds. So now we have a reasonably pretty graph that's not terrible. We want to be able to get to this format of graph relatively quickly. So we say right click, save as template. I'm calling this template proper line and data. I'm going to replace it. And now in the future, if I ever need to do this kind of thing, I can say insert a chart and then I can come into change chart type templates and select this prettier format instead of the ugly Excel defaults. You still have to rename the titles. But there you go, how to import, plot, and auto format your data. This is far better for publication. And we can talk about where I got some of these ideas. I didn't just make them up. I'm basing these principles on Edward R. Tufts, the visual display of quantitative information, which is the classic text in the field. His principles are to, above all else, show the data maximize the data ink ratio, data to non-data ink, erase every bit of non-data ink you can, erase redundant ink, revise and edit for clarity. I use these principles to go from the Excel default, which looks like this, which is terrible, to an improved version where you remove as much ink that's not data as possible. My version of these principles is show the data, eliminate non-data, and don't sneak in interpretation. So those curvy lines that Excel draws are interpretation, not data. If you're going to add something like that, put it in explicitly and base it on some clear reason, not just something that Excel does to make it look cute. So I hope you all find that interesting. Please stay tuned. We're gonna be doing another couple of videos on scientific presentation of data and analysis, and then we're going to get back to reviewing the scientific literature and talking about some actual results. So if you like the kind of thing, tune in next week right here in the Allen Lab.